Hey guys, today we're talking about gun control and our gun rights as U.S. citizens. We've got a lot to talk about. I'm going to try to crank this video out in 10-15 minutes. Just do a raw edit. Um, we've got lots of talking points. So why do I make this video? I make this video to first and foremost give my thoughts and prayers to the families of those who lost loved ones uh, at Sandy Hook Elementary and know that you and your families will never be forgotten. I'm making this video also to inform the mass majority of people who kind of ride the fence on this issue are most likely going to be swayed by media, by the mainstream media. So this video is going to present some facts and some supporting arguments why our country has a Second Amendment and why we should protect it. I'm also making this video to fight back and bring another voice uh, that someone can listen to other than mainstream media. The media and the government have used the shooting in Connecticut and they've used it as a springboard to jump into supporting their agenda which is disarming Americans. The media has turned that shooting into a gun debate. They've blamed it on the gun. It's the gun's fault. The government, politicians, have jumped on that, on the media's back, and used that momentum to push their own agenda into legislation, such as Feinstein. I'm sure you've all heard about it. It's everywhere in the news. Um, you know, she said, I mean, she's going to go broke trying to push this into legislation because she knows she has the momentum from the media. So let's jump right in and I'm going to start off with a question. Uh, this question I got off another YouTube channel, uh, a well put together video by Nothing Fancy and this is where I got this question from. Um, if there was a police officer that day at Sandy Hook Elementary would you support the idea of that police officer defending all those people shooting and killing that deranged man who took so many innocent lives that day? Do you support that? Um, and, and don't come back with the argument, oh, well, the police officer could have tried to disarm him and talk him out of it. No. He walked in the front door, loaded up, ready to take people's lives in his own, and there was no talking him out of it. Uh, so, is it okay in your mind for that police officer to use deadly force to save 20 plus lives? Well, yeah. I would hope you said, yeah. Um, so if you said yes, um, what about an armed civilian? who went through all the appropriate steps as a law-abiding member of this society, who went through the mandatory eight-hour class um, by the state, and went to the DMV, paid the fee, did the application, went and got fingerprinted. I mean, a concealed carry holder. Would you support a person, a law-abiding armed citizen, stopping and protecting all those kids and the adults that died that day. 
with a gun, which is what the media has made into just such evil. They've they've brainwashed you, the mass population, into believing that guns are evil. No. Yes, evil has used guns a lot. Um, but we're going to get to that. So, the next topic is why should guns be legal and in the hands of law-abiding citizens? Well, I just kind of covered it. Uh, to protect yourself and your loved ones from evil in this world. And if you don't think that there's evil in this world, or if you're in denial of that, I hope, I pray, that you never have to learn the hard way. So why should guns, generically speaking, guns, be legal in the hands of law-abiding citizens? I live in a great country, a free, for the most part, country. I should choose how I want to defend myself, my home, my land, whether that be a Glock 19, whether that be a assault rifle, which is what the media has classified a sporting rifle as, um, a shotgun, what kind of ammo you use. Um, it's not the government's place to decide, choose for me, how I protect myself and my family. If you believe if guns didn't exist, the world would be a better place. Well, think about our police and our military, who, for the most part, keep this country, this society, civil, protect the laws that are in play uh, in the books, military protecting this country, keeping it free. Um, ultimately, they're protecting the law in this country by what? Yeah, you got it. Weapons, guns. Going back, why should guns be legal? And in the hands of, in my opinion, a majority of law-abiding citizens, um, the police, they're incredible. I've got a lot of friends, close personal people that I admire and respect what they do. I love our law enforcement. They do a great job. Um, but if you study mass shootings, you see that it's, what, five to eight minutes that most of the damage is done. What's the average police response time? 5, 10, 15 minutes if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Um, and are you going to put your complete trust for the protection of yourself and your family in under the care of police? Um, I'm not. I love them. But you look at all the mass shootings, the police, by the time they got there, it was the damage had already been done. So enforcing a new law, an assault weapons ban, that uh, bans 30 round magazines, that bans assault rifles, which are modern sporting rifles, um, is that going to affect change? Is that going to uh, make our country more safe? We have to think about the hundreds of millions of 30 round magazines that are already in circulation that are going to be grandfathered in and the millions of assault rifles uh, that are already in that are they're going to be grandfathered um, th those are still going to be around you're not just snapping a finger and guns go away and if you did you would have a crazy outbreak and there would be no order people could just think they could get away with whatever they want. The only way to stop evil with a gun is a good guy with a gun. If this assault weapons ban passes, there will be a massive black market with firearms, ammunition, magazines, shotguns, hand I mean everything. You're not going to stop the people from owning the law-abiding citizens and certainly not the evil and the criminals from getting their hands on a gun. That's not gonna happen. Um, there are a lot of laws in place and 
the one I want to talk about first is uh, gun-free zones. Do they stop evil? No. Does a bad guy, does someone who is completely taken over by evil, who's ready to take lives, in most of the case, take their own life, uh, are they going to load up, find their gun somehow, and uh, load up, go to the front door of whatever building it be, whether it's a school, college campus, movie theater, um, mall? Are they going to walk to the front door and see that sign and turn around and say, No, I've changed my mind. Hell no. They're not going to do that. Gun-free zones are effective at making a kill zone. Gun-free zones are kill zones. They say to the enemy, hey, there's, you're not going to find any resistance here. Um, Gun-free zones are worthless, and it's they shouldn't be around. Let's talk about solutions. That's what people want. Um, how do we solve this problem? Well, it's certainly not by punishing the law-abiding citizens, the gun owners, um, which you will be doing if you pass this assault weapons ban. And um, so a solution might be that you have a well-armed civilian populace population. Yeah. A well-armed civilian population. I think that would solve a lot of these mass shootings. Just recently, um, in Oregon, that mall shooting, there was a concealed carry permit holder who drew a gun on a guy. Who, the guy walked in the mall and was ready to take a lot of lives. And this responsible law-abiding citizen drew his gun on the guy. The guy this coward turned the corner, killed himself. That could have been another mass shooting. Who knows how many would have died if there wasn't someone there to stop it. So that's my first solution that I think would help. But of course, the media and politicians would never go for that. Um, so let's talk about some tangible things that um, they can do. More strenuous background check regulations. Hey, if you want to do that, I'm up for that. If you want to make it so that um, you do a more strenuous background check, if anyone has ever been committed, uh, I don't know, if anyone has ever been committed into a loony bin or um, has had psychiatric issues or is on, you, you know, maybe you have to um, see if someone's on any kind of antidepressant or medication. Maybe that's, maybe that's something you can put in your background check. Um, and possibly a waiting period. Possibly. Um, make it, you know, three to five days between the time you make your purchase and you can pick up your firearm. These are all better options to me than this proposed assault weapons ban, which will just ban everything. You can't ban everything. You just can't. It's You're not going to have a population, you're not going to have a society that is going to stand for it. Um, you can't just, you can't ban phones because people, you know, you can create a law that says no texting while driving. Uh, if you banned all phones, what's going to happen? Uh, you ban people, you know, from having a car who get in a car accident. You ban cars. I mean, you can't just ban stuff. Also, another solution as to protecting the Second Amendment, everyone that's watching this video who agrees in our Constitution, in the way our Founding Fathers developed 
this country. They created the Second Amendment and what it states for a reason. Make your voice heard. Make a YouTube video. Make a response to this video. I'll spread it. I will I will spread your message. I'll help you. Um, support the NRA. Support the Gun Owners of America. GOA. Um, write your representatives and your senators. Write the President of the United States. Make your voice heard. If you have an opinion, obviously the people who think guns are evil, the media, they're they're jumping on the back of this shooting and they are making their voices heard and without any um, opposition they're gonna get their way so make your voices heard if you believe in the way this country was founded if you believe that protecting yourself from evil is a necessity and you want to take that into your own hands be a law-abiding citizen. Get your carry permit. Get a handgun. Get a assault rifle, assault weapon, um, and protect your family. Don't be one of the stories where you didn't believe in it, you hated guns, and then something happens and you wish you had one, or you wish you could have protect your family. But I pray to God that you never have to learn the hard way. I choose for me and my family to be prepared. And for the ones I love, I want to spread that message. Be prepared. Be a great law-abiding citizen. My name is Luke. I will be posting in the video description below a lot of facts. Links that are very interesting great reads. Um, I'm going to fill that video description up with some good facts for you to look over. And uh, be a critical thinker. Don't just be swayed by the media. Don't just believe what you hear on TV. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took the information that was given and it made you think. God bless you and your family.